Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield Rank Battles. I had another video recorded and I accidentally deleted it. And since the file size was so large, it just permanently deleted it instead of sending it to my recycle bin. So what I do, I have a really bad habit of like, I don't know if this is necessarily a bad habit, but I record like, I like record a whole bunch of stuff. So like I'll record this video, then I'll record like a Nuzlocke video. And then like when I'm playing Call of Duty with my friends, I'll just record all of that, right? So then my storage just gets filled with... Okay, this is... Oh, it's not a Trick Room team, but it kind of looks like a Trick Room team. This guy's totally going to leave with Gr Grimmsnarl for sure on this team. So I'm going to leave my Grimmsnarl so he... So I can just try... Try to maybe counteract him. And then I kind of want to lead... Corviknight does good here. We'll do Corviknight in the front. Dragapult in the back. And then... Probably Rotom. Mm, ooh. Or actually Gastro. Gastro. But yeah, so like, I just have a whole bunch of stuff recorded, right? And so I'll like start, sl I'll slowly edit it. I have like a planner. I keep track of everything. But sometimes, obviously, I got to go through and just like delete a bunch of stuff. You know, clear up some space. Not that I have to clear up space, but just to make it less cluttered. And I was just going through deleting a bunch of stuff and I accidentally deleted uh, the episode so it's just completely gone and since the file is so large because I tried to record in a high quality It just straight up went away. It is is completely gone So that is what it is at this point. Okay, so we have a wheezing and what is that Runarigus? So I believe that he's gonna be going for a Trick room, but I want a light screen here because I know this wheezing wants to fire blast me more than likely and if he doesn't, I want to bulk up is what I want to do. I want to start off with a big scary lead here. And I want to bulk up. So Light Screen, even if he Dynamaxes, Corviknight should be able to take that hit. I mean, Corviknight's a big bulky boy. Uh, so I kind of hope he does Dynamax here, which he does not. I wanted him to Dynamax just uh, so he can get that out of the way. Yeah, he's obviously going for a Trick Room. I mean, I completely outsped both of his Mons. And Corviknight should not be outspeeding. That is A-OK. -okay. Toxic Spikes. Wow. Okay. Okay, toxic spikes. Now, do toxic spikes is that is that like toxic or is that like poison? Like, do, do my poison like slowly get harder and harder to deal with? So we'll go ahead Thunder Wave the Weezing here, so I can still go first, right? I believe I should still go first. I don't want to double up into the Weezing sl slot, is all. I'm just gonna go for another bulk up just because I don't know what they're gonna do. But Prankster should still out should still go first, right? Okay, so Prankster does still go first in Trick Room. I was confident in that, but I wasn't 100,000% sure. So I do get paralyzed, and he's going to Will-O-Wisp my Corviknight here. That sucks. That really sucks. Because I don't like... I don't want my attack to get reduced at all. But I'm just going to go for another bulk up here. Grimmsnarl. I mean, that sucks that he's getting he's getting attacked, but he's he's done his job plus some. Let's go for another... Ref Actually, you know what we'll do? Hmm... Is that can't thunder wave the Runarigus? If I'm not mistaken, he's uh, ground and ghost. Yeah. Okay. So what we'll do? We'll set up the reflect just just to have it up, and then we are going to max steel spike this wheezing. That way we can have another boost of defense. Even though they're going for special attacks right now, I'm not exactly 100% sure what Runarigus actually does. So. We'll go ahead and get this going. I, I'm double bulked up. I am burned though, which which obviously sucks. Um, but still, double bulked up. Ain't going to be Dynamax. This should be doing me good. And then I have no intentions. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to go like this. Max Steel Spike, give us another, give us another uh, defense boost. Plus, I'll give Grimmsnarl one. Even though, I mean, I'm getting Sludge Bomb, obviously, I'm like 99% sure is a special attack anyway. But still. Okay, body press. I'm living that. Absolutely living that. And Weezing got paralyzed. That is super good. Grimmsnarl living to see another day. And does this take out the Weezing with two bulk ups? Does not because of that burn, I'm pretty sure. I've, I'm pretty sure without the burn, that would have knocked him out. But I don't know Pokemon stats to actually 100% know. Corviknight, I mean, I love Corviknight, dude. I see so many, like, tier lists of him being, like, ranked so low. And I just, I mean... I don't see it, man. I don't see him being ranked that low. I don't want to... See, here's the thing here. I want to switch out Grimmsnarl 
to because he's not really doing much here but i don't want to switch him out just because i don't want anything to get poisoned on my team you know i kind of just want to stick i kind of just want to stick with what i got i don't want him getting poisoned so he's not going to switch the wheezing he's just going to protect which is fine by me i'm still going to do some big damage on him he's going to willow us the grim snarl which actually that's kind of annoying because i just used play rough on him so he has had two Will-O-Wisps connections. So I better, next time I do a Thunder Wave, that better connect is all I know. It's all I know is I better connect. Wondering Spirit, he took away my Prankster ability? Yikes. What a jerk. Do I get to get my Prankster ability back next turn though if I play rough it? Cause I want Prankster back. Jeez, that does nothing through Protect. Yikes. So yeah, he's just totally just burning through my He's just totally burning through my Dynamax turns right now, which I'm not entirely a fan of. I kind of want to go for a Max Airstream this next turn. Actually, no, I don't need to. I was going to say go for a Max Airstream so when his Trick Room is gone, I can have a Speed Boost. But his whole team is going to be zero IV in speed. So we are good on that. So we're just going to go for another Max Steel Spike. Just continue to raise our defense. And we are pretty low in the rank, like in the ladder. So I'm playing against... Ideally fairly easy people, but also I'm like a fairly easy person to play against So I just need to play Pokemon more often is what it is, but I'm just having a ton of fun playing a whole bunch of other games, too Okay, so who's he taking out? Ah, oh, he's taking away my prankster. He's like pranksters out of here. Oh Wait, do I get your prankster now? Oh, and this can be super effective. Are you sure you want to do that? Oh, strange stream. I have my screens up though Not even gonna live that even with screens up. That is Annoying crit probably freaking helps that so does crit. I know crit like ignores um, Stat boosts and all that stuff, but does it ignore screens? I don't know if it does That's super annoying that my grim snarl just went down To that I wonder if crit ignores because if crit ignores screens and that's why my grim snarl just went down man That's super annoying But our Corviknight I mean, he's bulky right now, and I don't even know why he brought in Grimmsnarl, because now I'm just going to Iron Head him. Uh, let's do... Yeah, we definitely want to go into Gastrodon, obviously. I don't want my Dragon Bolt having to get hurt by Grimmsnarl, and also I don't want... If his Grimmsnarl knows Thunder Wave, I don't want my Dragon... Well, actually, he's going to get poisoned right here anyway with these Toxic Spikes, so that's kind of actually annoying. Alright, so we are communicating. Sending out some weird language. I don't know why it doesn't translate for me. Oh, here we go. Perfect on the Grim Snarl play then. All right, let's see if it says badly poisoned or not. Was poisoned. Okay, so it's just some standard poison. Now he, I don't see him Dynamax anything here. I got to double up in this Runarigus slot, which sucks is I don't think that's even going to do anything either. So we're going to Scald the Runarigus and then we're going to, I guess, Brave Bird it. Yeah, his Iron Head's good against the Grim Snarl. So that is 80. That is one. Yeah, I just want to double up into this Runaria slot. I just feel like he's still going to set up Trick Room, though, which sucks. I kind of feel like I should just. I'm just going to Iron Head the Grim Snarl. Because I don't want. I don't think it's going to go down. I don't think this Runaria is going to go down. Because I'm burned. Uh, and he said reflect. I 100% was not going to take out Runerigus this turn. So I'm glad I just went for the Iron Head on the Grim Snarl here. So that'll do some good damage. Not quite 50% though because the reflect is up now. That's quite annoying. Skull, please give me that burn. Oh, dude, Skull did quite a bit more damage than I thought it was. And here's the annoying Trick Room. But my Gastrodon is set up to go first in Trick Room. I have zero, zero speed IV in it. And I gave him the Iron Ball or whatever to make him make his speed even lower. So my Gastrodon outspeeds Torkoal in Trick Room. And I'm pretty sure Torkoal was, prior to that, the, the fastest in Trick Room. I'm not 100% sure. But I know my Gastrodon is 100% going first here. So this, and, well, Grimstone has Prankster. But besides that, I am good to go. So let's see what happens here. Communicating. He is taking a sweet time. Come on, baby. Give me what I want. So, see, Gastrodon used Scald. He was not expecting that, I'm sure. Dude, my Gastrodon is literally here. It's here for the the early on game Dracovish meta, but it, it's also here for the Trick Room meta. Spear Break on the Gastro. Okay, Gastro. I mean, he's a tanky boy. But what drops? My special attack drop. That's super annoying. 
So is this going to knock out? No. Who do we have for his last Mon? Who do you have for me to take out? Let's see who we got here. Are we even going to drop a Mon this game? Oh, no, wait, yeah, we did. We already did. We dropped Grimstone. I'm so stupid. Yeah, Corviknight, I mean, he's looking pretty against this team. We had the Weezing, the Grimmsnarl that Corviknight hard counters. The Runarigus, where he's not even touching my Corviknight. The only thing that sucks is the Will-O-Wisp. And then, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go for the Scald on Fatboy here. So hopefully he gets burned. And then we're just going to Iron Head this Grimmsnarl. Oh, he's going to go for a Dynamax, though. What is that, Squalvet or Squalvet um, pre-evolution? I just hate that this game doesn't... He's not going to Dynamax? I just hate that this game doesn't freaking... Uh, translate for me. Please burn. No burn. Belly drum. That's why he didn't die to Max yet. Because he was going for the belly drum first. Because you know that boy has a berry. Yikes. This is actually going to hurt because he's going to Dynamax this. Okay, so what can we do here? Cheek pouch. What is cheek pouch? Oh my goodness. He is basically at full health. I really wish that burn would have went through now. Yikes. We're in trouble. Okay, so Gastrodon is gonna... Okay. What's scary is that we, we don't have this game won yet, okay? And that is absolutely terrifying. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Scald with Gastrodon. And then we're gonna bulk up with Corviknight. And the reason why is because I want to make sure Corviknight cannot go down to this thing. Okay? I just want him to have... Well, actually, what is my... Yeah, one more bulk up. We're gonna do one more bulk up on Corviknight. And we're gonna Scald... To try to get that burn and then we should have an easy one because if i do one more bulk up i'll be max defense stat i know he's max attack stat plus i'm bulky plus i have roost and if gastro can burn him then his attack will be lowered once so we we could we could potentially still do this without dropping another mon but we we obviously have our dragapult in the back that is a ghost type so his normal type moves won't be doing anything to me but let's see what he has let's see what this big man has this is actually kind of scary this is actually kind of scary. Okay, so Scald. Please burn. Son of a gun. All right, Max Overgrowth Gastrodon is totally going down to that. Absolutely. Gastrodon, rest in spaghetti, never forget you, my guy. But, well, that makes me... Actually, it's smart that he took out the Gastro there. Even if he does have a move to hit Corviknight, because he knows he's not going to take out Corviknight this turn. And so you make sure I can't scald him anymore, which is really good for him. He doesn't he doesn't want me to be able to scald him anymore. So let's see here. Corviknight is now fully max attacked out. He set up a grass terrain though, which sucks. It's gonna keep him alive. So at this point, we're just gonna go for iron heads. To if I outspeed him, go for flinches. And I just don't want to go for brave birds because I don't want to be taking any extra damage when I don't need to. Okay, so we're just going to go. Okay, so Dragapult, your poison. We're just going to go for the Dracos. Because I'm pretty sure my Corvin I can 1v1 this fool. If needed. You know what I'm saying? Iron Head does do. Yeah, it may make the target flinch if I have a speed here. I feel like I should. So he's using Max Hell. So, yeah, so I'm going to have a speed when the Trick Room's not here anymore. So we're good. We are good. We just got a 1v1 this bad boy, and I am very confident that, that I can definitely do that with Corviknight being maxed, boosted. The only thing that sucks is I'm burned, so I'm not going to be doing as much damage. Let's see what kind of damage I do against him right now. Yeah, that did basically nothing. But what I can do still at this point is I can just keep going for bulk ups and raising my attack stat too. And that might be the play here, actually. Let's see how many more turns of Trick Room have left. I think Trick Room should be ending. And if not, this turn next. Teams reflect war off. Oh, my teams reflect war off. That sucks. Okay. How many more turns of reflect does he have? He still has three more turns to reflect. So what we're going to do, I go first. I'm going to bulk up this turn, roost next turn if needed. I'm going to make sure my attacks, I'm not losing this game. Okay, I'll tell you. That. If I lose this, I just want you to know I'm still uploading it, okay? Keep the suspense alive, but I'm not going to lose this game. Defense won't go any higher. That's fine with me. Max Hailstorm. That is fine with me. I am doing... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm doing so good there. Burn's obviously going to hurt me. Hail's obviously going to hurt me. But I have Leftovers and Grassy Train. And I can Roost. 
Oh, dude, no. I just realized if he crits me, I for sure go down. Because he's boosting his attack and I'm boosting my defense. If he crits me, I... Oh, I go down. Okay. We're going to go... We're going to do one more bulk up. We're doing the risky play. We're going to hope he doesn't crit us here. We have to do this. We have to go for a bulk up. Roost next turn and then iron head it up. That's the play. If he crits me right here and I lose, though, I'm going to scream so loud. All right, Ice Fang, don't crit me, and we're good. All right, perfect. Corviknight is buffeted. That's fine. This guy thinks he has the game in the bag, but he does not because I have Roost, and I am just cruising along. Let me see. Let's see how good I'm doing. <coughs> ah. Let's see how good I'm doing on... Um, on my bulk ups. What's my attack at right now? So I just need one more bulk up to be max. I think I'm fine. I just go for a roost here. Is his defense? He doesn't have any defense boost. I mean, he is a chunky squirrel. So that, I mean, there's that, right? He's a chunky squirrel, but I feel like I'm going to totally win this game. I'm not going to go for any brave birds because I don't want to be taking any damage for no reason. Wow, that actually, that actually hurt a lot. But his attack fail. Oh, yes. Let's go. His attack fail. Fell. I don't know how many PP Super Powerhouse or what the accuracy is behind that. But I know we're doing good, baby. So we're just going to keep roosting. We are winning. Dude, Nuzlocke has taught me to live. I'm so glad I started playing Nuzlocke. It's taught me how to stay alive. I just want to cough so bad right now. My throat hurts. I just got done playing a ton of Call of Duty before I started recording this. His reflex just went away. The grassy terrain went away, so he has no more health he's getting. I have 16 roosts. I mean, I'm good, baby. Everyone kick back and relax. We're winning this game. Oh, yeah. I love outspeeding. I love outspeeding with Corviknight, baby. Go for another superpower. That's okay. Although, you know, I just thought of if he still freaking crits me, I think I still go down. But his attack keeps falling. The hail stops. I'm not taking any more. Actually, I'm still taking burn damage, but that's whatever. If I roost here, I go back to full health, which obviously I'm going to. I wonder. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look it up. I don't care. Look up Pokemon Superpower. Pokemon Superpower. I just want to know how much PP it has. That's all. So if we roost, all right. Let's see here. We're gonna roost. We're gonna do Superpower. Superpower has five. Only has five PP. Okay. So. We are golden. He's going to use Ice Fang. He's not going to use all those superpowers. Good move on him. So now this turn I can Iron Head. Because even if he superpowers me, I'm living. Obviously, unless it's a crit. But he is lowering his attack. So I'm doing just I'm doing just A-OK, -okay, baby. Light screen one way. I don't really care about that. So let's go for an Iron Head. Let's start going for some some big bad, big bad boy flinches. You know, we have Stab. We have Bulked Up out the max. Obviously, we're burned still. Wow, this is the longest game of ranked I've ever played. That's going to do... Oh, yeah. Flinch! Baby, good game. Let's go, dude. We just had to wait him out, baby. Oh, yeah. You love to see it, guys. I'm actually I'm actually so happy that my first recording ended up... Cans are getting deleted by accident because this game is way better. That first game, the guy like wasn't that great. This guy just canceled. Let's go. I'm so happy that was recorded and I didn't just do that on my own. That was Dummy Lit. Guys, thank you for stopping by. This was easily my favorite game of Pokemon Showdown ranked. Guys, leave a comment down below if you would have won that game. Let me know. Would you have won that game or did I have 200 IQ plays? Thank you guys for stopping by. See you later.